Hi there everyone, I'm Wardy and you'll find me at traditionalcookingschool.com. We love kombucha and we use a continuous brew system from Get Kombucha and we love it so much and wanted to have a little bit more kombucha on hand so I decided to buy a second brewer from Get Kombucha. This is the continuous brew kit and since it just arrived I figured I would turn the camera on and then you could unbox it with me. So let's see what's in the box. It looks like we've got a card. This is new since the last time where you can keep your notes of your brews and how they're going for one, two, and three. That's awesome. Okay, so the main part of this is this beautiful lead-free ceramic brewer, two and a half gallon. This is where the spout's gonna go. This is the ring that goes on top. Okay, a bunch of these BPA-free plastic travel bottles. Six of those. This is where the magic happens because it's the SCOBY, the mother culture. It's alive and looks like it's really well bagged, double bagged, so no leaking. Um, there's finished kombucha in there to keep the SCOBY in good condition during travel. Uh, this is great. It looks like a lot of good SCOBY. Okay, this is the kit that has the handy um, instruction card. Okay, gonna put this together as a nice attractive black stand for the brewer to sit on. And I think that's all that's in the box. There are some goodies inside here a pouch of uh, Get Kombucha's Organic Custom Tea Blend. This is fantastic, actually. We love this. It's a blend of black, white, and green tea, the right proportions to make really good tasting and the most healthy kombucha. This is a great tea blend. Pieces for the spout. Organic cane sugar, because your SCOBY needs a food source to turn the sweet tea into kombucha. This is fair trade organic sugar, and we actually use honey most of the time, but I'll probably find another purpose for this. Oh, and look, I have a choice of a white spout. So black or white, that's awesome. Okay, let's open this up. So this is a card. Uh, it has a handy pH chart, so you're measuring your pH on your kombucha. You can see um, where it stands figure out if it's done or not. Of course, you can taste for that too. Um, quick <laughs> visual instructions for how to do it. It's super easy. My son actually follows a chart like this. Um, and how much tea, how much water, how much sugar to use for depending on how much kombucha you're making. So this is super handy. We keep it on here. Just like you have a choice of black or white spout, looks like you could do a black or white cover and it goes on top when it's brewing just like that. And I see the rubber band to secure that right here in the bag as well. Black and white lids for the containers. And there's a sticker if you want to put a sticker on yours. We do put the sticker on ours. So the first one we have it like right above the pour spout. Some disposable gloves. Um, bags to hold tea when you're brewing your tea, pH strips, testing your kombucha to see if it's done. Of course, you can compare that with the chart. A couple more lids and the screws to put together the stand. All right, so that was easy enough for me to do in about five minutes, less than five minutes, and I didn't really break a sweat. <laughs> so it was super easy using a Phillips screwdriver. And that's the base then, and the brewer goes on top of it. Just like that, spout, and I'm gonna do black. Washers, a nut, and the spout itself. It says this goes here, this goes here. I 
Okay, so I'm gonna screw on this nut. I suppose finger, finger tight's fine and then you just wanna watch for leaking and tighten if necessary. There we go, that's the spout now. What a beautiful thing. Oh, I'll do the sticker. Get kombucha. Put it right. Right about the spout. Just like that. Smooth that out. Okay, so there we are. Our continuous brewer is ready for a batch of kombucha. As you can see, the kit contains a ton from bottles to pH strips, instructions, tea mix, sugar, your oh so important SCOBY, um, and really all you need is a Phillips screwdriver and like five minutes to open your box, put it together, and then start your brewing. Thanks for joining me for the unboxing. If you get a brewer, hope you love it as much as we do. God bless you, bye-bye.